Hey guys, what's up? It's Depermito. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm here in FL Studio and I'm going to be breaking down how to make a Six Dogs type beat. Uh, so if you don't know who Six Dogs is, he was an underground emo rapper. He never got too popular outside of the underground, unfortunately, um, and he did pass away a few months ago at this point i'm not sure exactly when but uh so yeah rest in peace to six dogs but while he was alive he made some really cool music it's actually pretty different than a lot of the other emo rap music that you've heard it's more synthetic and um just a little bit different so yeah this is going to be another one of those videos where i'm really going into depth and breaking down how to make certain types of beats you guys seem to really be liking them so i'm going to keep doing them uh definitely recommend me whatever artist you want me to do um, and I'll do it. So starting off, you want to be at a pretty simple trap tempo. You want to be about 140 to 170, I've found, are the general range of the tempos for his songs. And the melodies are going to be a fairly synthetic sound. They're going to be usually synths or bells or something like that. So I'm going to go with hybrid. This is a pretty cool VST that doesn't have a ton of use, I found, if in just general trap music, although it is really good for rage beats, which have become a lot more popular recently, and it's pretty cool for these and Uzi and, um, you know, just that synthetic type of sound. A lot of times the main melody for these beats will be a synth or a bell or a pad, so I'm going to start off with a soft pad right here. I'm just going to click through until I find something cool. All right, guys, so this is the sound I, I've found. It's the soothing sweeper sound, and I just turned the attack up a little bit. It sounds like this. And I just want to lay out some chords with this. I'm going to pretty much just do power chords, actually. Um, and even though this is mostly kind of emo trap, it's not going to be super sad sounding. So we're going to go with just some power chords so it doesn't really have much emotion. All right, so I changed the sound a little bit. I actually decided to go with this glider sound right here. And this is the melody that I laid out. And uh, we're just going to drop down these bass notes like that. And then I want this melody to be a little bit, I want it to stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to find another sound and I'm just going to paste it on there. I'm using this clear bell sound right here. It's just from the bell section. It's the second one. And I pasted this melody onto it. I copied it up an octave. And then I also just copied the entire thing over to make it an eight bar loop. And then I added this note right here to help it transition back. And also to just add a little bit of variety between the two. I think it sounds pretty good. So now I'm just gonna continue adding counter melodies. Again, you wanna keep them in this style of instrument, mostly a synth or some sort of bell, um, something like that. And you're just gonna add really simple counter melodies with maybe one like fairly complicated counter melody. You kinda wanna have one that stands out and then a few really simple ones as well. So for this next sound, I actually decided to go with Flex. This is a free FL Studio stock plugin. Um, and I just went with this mobile synth pluck bank. I grabbed the synth pluck calculate and laid out this pattern. And I'm pretty happy with the, how that sounds. Next, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to find a couple of little uh, textures to add in to make it sound a little bit more full, uh, but we don't want to make it too much more complicated than this. All right, so I've got the melody totally finished. I added two more things. For the first one, I used Fruity DX10. I just found this spaceship uh, preset, and I just layered the root notes. And then for the second half, I uh, copied copied it and moved it up an octave, but otherwise it's still the same. It sounds like this. And for the last thing, I used Purity for an ARP, and I made this pattern. It's just the uh, original chords copied, and then I added the third, uh, moved it over, and copied it up an octave. Sounds like this. Q 
keep in mind guys this is all totally unmixed so far so it sounds pretty horrible uh, but I'm gonna mix it pretty soon uh, so this is the melody the only mixing I've done is just with these knobs right here so now we're gonna get into the drums the drums are gonna be fairly simple for the most part you can do whatever you want but generally they are pretty simple so I'm just gonna go with an internet money embassy kit these are always good choices and they're all free most of the time these beats are just gonna have a two-step hi-hat pattern with a few rolls like this so we've got the two step and we can add in a few rolls and uh, we don't want to go overboard. We don't want to go too crazy. Just wherever it needs a little bit of bounce, we're going to add it. So this is the little hi-hat pattern that I came up with. It's very simple. We just have a little walk down right here. And then in the second half, I added a little roll right there. It sounds like this. and simple next instead of a clap we're going to go with a snare i'm just going to use the chop snare which i've got right here this is a classic snare everybody's got it pretty much um so we're just going to use this then we can just add in a few bounce notes so i just added in these bounce notes up an octave right here it sounds like this Next thing guys is the 808 and the kick. A lot of times these beats will have an 808 but there's also quite a few songs that he has where it uses a sub bass instead of an 808. So that's actually what I'm going to do for this beat. I think it'll sound a little bit better. And um, so for this I'm going to use Free DX10 probably and just make a sub bass in there. Alright guys so this is the sub bass that I made. It just sounds like this. Then guys, the last thing that I'm gonna add is just a kick. We could also add some perks and stuff, but I don't think this beat really needs it because the melody is fairly complicated. So we wanna keep the drums pretty simple. For these kick patterns, they're actually gonna be not really that standard trap Atlanta pattern. They're gonna be more rock inspired. And so for the trap pattern, you would usually do one here and then on the three and then back to the one. But in a rock pattern, you would start on the one and you would just have it on the one each time. That's not exactly what we're doing. Um, we're breaking it up a little bit and making it a little bit more interesting. And then one thing we can do to make these sound a little bit better is just bring the first one down a little bit and that'll make it just sound more realistic. We don't want these beats to really be realistic sounding, but uh, it just kind of makes it sound better on the kicks. So guys, this is the full loop that we have. It sounds like this. And now I'm going to mix it all down. All right, guys, so a little bit of a more complicated mix this time. We've just got an EQ here, cutting the lows on the pad. Then RC20, I just added this. I turned off the noise, added a little bit of reverb, and then I turned up the stereo width just to make it a little bit more interesting sounding. For this one, I added a delay, a reverb, and a shuffler uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting in the stereo image. Then for the spaceship, we've got an EQ, just cutting the highs and the lows, and a reverb. The ARP doesn't have anything, and the drums don't have anything. Um, and this is what it sounds like. So I think that's sounding pretty good. Next, I'm just going to arrange this whole thing and um, I'm not gonna really show that process because these types of beats have a very standard arrangement. Um, so I'm just going to sign off now, but I want to thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Go ahead and drop me a like if you enjoyed the video. Also go check the description to get my free loop kits as well as my Academy drum kit. Uh, it's full of 808s that are really, really solid. Um, and a few sub bases as well, so go check that out. Go follow me on Instagram as I'm dropping a new MIDI kit when I reach 2,000 followers. And subscribe here on YouTube. I'm dropping a free melody kit when I reach 200 subs. So definitely go do that. But yeah, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all in the next video.
up so hard.